Hey guys, Frank again. Uh, I just did a video on periscoping on using AstroPad for the iPad Pro to run full screen Photoshop and I made a little mistake. You saw me zooming in and it didn't work quite nice, right? And it's actually something I have to correct because otherwise people will go like, nah, it doesn't work. And it actually works very, very well. But I want to show you what I did wrong. Now I'm going to switch to the iPad Pro. I'm still learning this stuff. So there's a little dot here that's actually calling up the menu. Oh, there we go. And as you can see on top, you can choose finger or stylus or Apple Pencil. Now let's say finger, and let's take this away. Now if I try to zoom, you will see that it's a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes it works, there we go, and sometimes it doesn't. It depends on where you put your fingers. Now what I had to do, and of course when you use your Apple Pencil, this will happen automatically, is you will press here and you will just say stylus. So drawing mode, stylus. Now it does palm rejection, so now it doesn't see my fingers as a retouching tool anymore. And now without any problem, I, wherever I click, I can actually zoom. And as you can see, compared to the screen, there's, and now it's on Wi-Fi. So via the lightning adapter, it's even faster, but there's absolutely no lag. It goes pretty fast, so this is really impressive. So this will open up so many new options for people retouching because imagine now just having your Apple Pencil here and just doing your retouching and in the, just zooming in a little bit more, zooming in a little bit more, zooming down, zooming down. Okay, very nice. Now do some filter actions over here, do some filters. As you can see, it's a very, very intuitive uh, workflow uh, comparable to, of course, the logic. But that's one of the things that I always looked at and never bought for the very simple reason I couldn't justify the costs and what I do with it. But this, it looks pretty handy. So I just want to do that correction about the zooming because I messed up that in the previous video. So thanks for watching. And again, I will upload this to YouTube so you can actually watch them again. So thanks for watching and see you next time.